Hello friends, welcome back. This session is going to be very interesting as well as important. We are going to understand what exactly is the difference between the transfer learning and fine tuning. This is a very important concept and we are going to learn it in say about 8 to 9 minutes. That's all. It's a very interesting topic too. We are going to understand this very clearly. But before going into it, we need to get a recap of what is CNN because we are going to explain it through this. CNN is an ANN. I have explained it very clearly already in my videos. If you do not have exposure to it, I request you to listen to it. CNN has got multiple hidden layers and these hidden layers could be one or more or all these layers are called as the convolution layers. What is convolution? It is mathematical. Convolution is an operation on two functions which could produce a third function expressing how the shape of one is modified by other. I have explained you all this very clearly in my CNN things. Now, how is CNN working? Very simple. I have got an input image. I want to classify or predict as in what is the image? Is it a dog or is it a cat? So what do I do? I'll have series of convolution layers followed by pooling layers. And after that, I'll have a fully connected layer and then we get the output. So the series of the convolution layer followed by pooling layer, convolution layer 1, pooling layer 1, convolution layer 2, pooling layer 2. All these together are called as the feature extraction part and followed by that we have fully connected layer and it is called as the classification or the prediction part. The output could be 0 or 1 which means it can be cat or dog. In this case, we have to get the result as dog. This is what is happening in CNN. Just remember it. Now, what is transfer learning? Very simple. We are going to make use of the knowledge that we gained while solving some other problem to solve something similar and that is called as the transfer learning. I know driving a two-wheeler, can I use the knowledge to learn driving a car? I know driving a cycle, can I use that knowledge to learn driving a bike? That's all. We have the ability to use our knowledge in one area to another area with ease. Only thing is they have to be related. That is, this is called as transfer learning and I made it very simple. Now, let's understand better. We are going to remove the last layer alone and replace the same with some more probabilities other than just binary classification. What do you mean by that, sir? You can see that here, the feature extraction part is left untouched. The first part is left untouched. The red box that I have put is the layer that I am talking about. We are going to just change it. We are going to just work on it. That's all. We are going to take the knowledge that the existing model has for our future. That's all. We already have got some knowledge. We are going to use the knowledge. Now, what are we going to do? We will change the classification and the prediction part alone. We are going to change just this part which I have highlighted alone and we are going to use it for our application. We are going to keep the feature extraction part totally untouched. We are going to get it more technical right now. We shall retrain the classification part and freeze the other feature extraction layers in the network. Remember, we are freezing, we are retraining. That's it. So what do we retrain? We retrain the classification part. What do we freeze? We freeze the feature extraction part. That's all. It's very simple and that's called as transfer learning. Well, we shall freeze all the convolution and the max pooling layers. That's what is the first half of it. The convolution layer and the max pooling layers are all frozen. I'm not going to touch it so that they do not modify their weights, leaving only the fully connected ones free. I can touch the fully connected ones now. So retraining is done only on the fully connected layers. That is, we change the classifier part to make it work, to make it fit for our application. That's it. This is called transfer learning exactly for you. We take the advantage of the knowledge of another problem to solve the one that we are dealing by taking the advantage of the feature extraction stage and fine tuning the classifier part alone. We are going to touch the classifier part alone and that's exactly what we have done right now. Now, there is a question. What is the difference between fine tuning and transfer learning? Very simple. I'm going to explain you that. With fine tuning, what do we do is initially we will change the last layer to match the classes in our data set. This is exactly what we do in transfer learning. We will change the last layer alone. But there is a difference. Here it is very flexible that we can also retrain the layers of the network in the feature extraction part. Remember, I can change the content. I can retrain the layers in the feature extraction part. The red box is bigger right now. Last time it was only on the fully connected layer. Now I am I'm having freedom to go ahead and retrain the content in the feature extraction part as well. I mean, the layer can be further tuned there. Now remember, retraining not only the classifier part, 
but also the feature extraction stage. I mean, the convolution layer and the pooling layers can also be retrained. And understand this point, the first layers detect the simple and more general patterns. It's very easy stuff that is happening in the initial layers. But more and more you grow further, more and more deeper you go, more details specific to the data set and more complicated patterns which are really difficult can be detected. So it is better to allow the convolution and the pooling layers to be retrained as well. The point is very simple. Most of the work is happening in the feature extraction part, hence allow retraining there. That's it. That's what is called as the entire concept that we are discussing about. That's what is called as fine tuning. We allow the retraining to happen in the entire set, just not in the classification and the prediction. You can see that here the feature extraction part can also be retrained. Well, how do we choose it? For which one I can go with a transfer learning? For which one I can go with fine tuning? You can start with transfer learning, if needed, move to fine tuning. That's the way I can tell you. But I've got few scenarios for you to make your understanding better. Problem versus ideal choice is what I'm talking about. Very simple. The uh, data set is the new data set that we are taking in hand is small and is very similar to the original one. Transfer learning is the best choice here because when we go with fine tuning, overfitting could come. Now the next one, the new data set is large and similar to the original one. You can go with fine tuning. The new data set is big and very different from the original one. Trained from the scratch with suitable methods. So you can see that here we have got options. You can go with, start with the fine tuning, I mean uh, the transfer learning and you can go on with fine tuning. The difference is simple. Last layer alone, you call it transfer learning. The network, if you, if you can go with the feature extraction part retraining, we call it fine tuning. I hope you understood the session and the content. If you like the channel and the content, please give a thumbs up and subscribe. Thank you.